Alan, man, this is exciting. Look at this, a hot summer day. I was uh, shaving earlier today and I really cut my lip. Um, I'm turning 30 next week, so I just started shaving. Uh, <laughs> who here is 30 or older? Okay, now who here is below 30? You notice how more excited the people below 30 were? <laughs> And I do feel good about 30, right? Uh, because we have done some good for the world. We do this show and we've had like 500 shows and we've had uh, like, like two couples to come out of this, you know? <laughs> and honestly, there also have been a lot of people that have come on our show that have struggled to maybe hook up with someone uh, or do anything. And they've come on this and, and gotten it, you know? And a lot of them shouldn't have. <laughs> They'll come up here and we'll get a text the next day like, hey dude, um, I actually met a girl in the crowd. Uh, and I tell every guy, everyone that comes on our show, hey, if you come on this and can't meet someone after, you are a fucking murderer. <laughs> you really just have to be okay. It's all you need to do. You just have to say, hey, uh, I'm a nice guy. And if you're six feet, you'll be able to fuck every girl in the crowd. <laughs> I want to know in this crowd, because summer's approaching, and a lot of couples sometimes break up before summer. Wow, it sounds like you got out of an abusive relationship. It was. Oh, no. It was supposed to come together to the show. It's fucked up. You, you were supposed to come here with him? No, but I came with her and stuff. Who bought the tickets, you or him? I did. I love you, okay. Wait, how long were you with the guy? Six weeks. Shut the fuck up. You acted like it was six years. Did you fuck him every minute in that six weeks? <laughs> Do you fuck him a lot? Yeah. Wow. By the way, speaking of the six foot tall guy with an eight inch, was he, how tall was he? Six three. Six three. <laughs> and who here single tonight? Whoa. Who here single and would actually hook up with someone tonight? Oh my God. Married couples? By the way, based off this crowd, there's definitely swingers. <laughs> On that note, Harrison. I mean, Brad, I love this crowd. I love them. How is it a Tuesday? Brooklyn breaks the Friday night attitude. I don't even... Are you guys ready to meet your first contestant? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Give it up for Brian! Speaking of hot... <laughs> oh my God, you are... Every morning when I wake up, there's a certain type of actor I like in my video. <laughs> so you're objectively... Uh, you got nice... Can you flex quickly? It's too much, it's too much. Come on, get them excited, get that, wow. I like, I like that you said too much. I'd be humble. Yeah, very humble. By saying that, that wasn't humble. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, man, um, thank you for coming on our show. Who are you and why should someone want to date you? I'm a good, genuine guy. I'm a good guy. Um, <laughs> so, I live a great lifestyle, so I think, I think, the girl, you know, I, I have a lot to, lot, to, lot to bring to the table. What's great about your lifestyle? I have a, I have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun. If, if I'm with you, you're going to have a good time. Why? I'm gonna make you laugh. I'm a funny guy. I think so. My friend, my friend group thinks so, like, I'm funny. Well, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> what specific thing is different about you than other guys? I've got a great job. You know, I think, uh... <laughs> I've got a great job. I'm yeah, no one else has a good job. <laughs> We're in New York. Everyone makes over a million dollars. Dude, at the, at the fucking guy on the streets, like, yeah, man, I pulled 500K last year. Uh, you know, I'm like, oh, I just got a hot dog. I should get into this. Um, so, yeah, so keep going. I think I will, in the relationship, she is going to have a, a, better, a better lifestyle when I'm around. I think I'm gonna make her laugh. We're gonna go. We're gonna I go. I feel like we're talking to Chat GBT. <laughs> she will have a better lifestyle when I am around. I am a funny guy. 
I have a body that was made in a robot center. What is in this lifestyle, this mythical lifestyle? What, what's the morning of this lifestyle? What's the night of this lifestyle? We're gonna go out, we're gonna grab drinks, we're gonna go to a nice dinner. We love a nice dinner, we love nice, nice uh, ambiance, nice drinks. Uh, yeah, you know, I think the morning, I'm gonna grab her coffee. A lot of guys aren't doing that these days. I'm, get, I'm going out, I'm grabbing her coffee, I'm bringing it, I'm bringing also, it to her. Finally, Chad yeah. GBT made a mistake. Instead of saying ambiance, he said ambulance. <laughs> No, I love it. I love coffee. It's so unique. Uh... <laughs> what about you then isn't something we're not seeing. We're hearing things that I think like, you know, we see from anyone that's breathing. <laughs> what are we not seeing that would be interesting to find out? Well, first of all, I was a college athlete, so <laughs> I played, I played, I played. Whoa. I mean, I feel like a lot of girls want to date a college athlete. Like, I play college basketball. So who doesn't want to date an athlete? What sport? I played basketball in college. Wow, I thought he was going to say lacrosse. <laughs> um, so no, every, every girl loves an athlete. They're so great when you're with them at 60 years old. When they played basketball in college, it comes in handy when you're raising kids. No. <laughs> What's a part of your identity that you haven't explored yet, because we know about this current lifestyle. What's, what's a part of Ryan in the future? Like, what, is, what, is, what does that Ryan look like? So what is that? Is it getting coffee at night instead of in the morning? <laughs> I do love an espresso martini, I'm not gonna lie. Not surprised. <laughs> He's like, I also like vodka soda. <laughs> in the future, I plan to be in a, be in a very good financial so let's travel a little bit. Let's travel a little bit. Let's go to let's go to nice areas. Uh, let's travel. Let's have fun. Do you want to maybe one day travel to Italy? <laughs> Lake Como would be nice. Uh, yes. And then two years later, we will do Greece, Mykonos. Uh, all right. So you actually seem like a genuinely good guy. So what? A, so I guess in a relationship, right? If I had a hard day. Um, I come home to you. If I need you to console me, make me feel better. What are you gonna do in the bedroom with them? It's gonna be a good time. I'm going to, uh... <laughs> I had a rough day. I had a rough day. We might start off with the massage. A little massage. Get, the, get it going. Get the juices flowing a little bit. How long do you, uh, take to finish? <laughs> a few minutes. A few minutes. <laughs> Yo, by the way, this guy could murder someone. They're never getting guilty. <laughs> Work around any question. How big? How many inches are you? You saw me back there, backstage. Come on. <laughs> I bet a guy, but based off the way he's acting, I, by the way, I bet he's actually huge. <laughs> I got no doubt, by the way, that you're probably a good performer because you got, you, you seem, you know, you're in good shape. What's the craziest? What's the most unique thing you've ever done in the bedroom? Last year, I was dating this one girl that was super attractive. And, and, and so I had to make sure that I, you know, could last a little bit longer than 30 seconds. Um, so I would just have, I would basically just throw her into like 10 different positions, just real quick, like in the first minute, just to make sure that she thought that it was, it was crazy, right? You, know, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. If, if you're less than a minute, just 10 different roles, 10 different positions, it's good. Dude, that was... We finished, and she was like, wow, that was, that was crazy. Wait, so... Yo, he... that was double! Yo, make some noise! So each position was six seconds? Uh, 10, I would say 10 seconds each position. Rotate real quick, she doesn't even know, boom. Do you want to describe look-wise the girl you'd want tonight? We love a beautiful girl. We, I, I'm, a big, I'm big into teeth and big into eyes. Um, I think those are like two big, very important attributes for me. Uh, but also, yeah, I, I've got to say like, you know, when a girl walks in a room, tits are big. I, I will say that, I do like that. We got a specific. <laughs> By the way, for him to specifically, let's say he likes tits, he must love them. <laughs> Physically on your body, what do you think girls find most attractive? <gasps> yeah. 
What do you think, Ryan? I would probably go abs. Um, so your abs, do you want to maybe do a little flash of them to the crowd so we can see how high you are? You got you to gotta do it for me. I can't be a, I can't be a douche. You got to do it for me. You said I got to do it for you? <laughs> Bro, use your left hand. Wow, yo, this guy's so hot. <laughs> so, Ryan, I was gonna just ask Harrison, so you do clearly, the biggest specific we got here, you love your morning coffee and you like tits. Um, <laughs> so have you ever, like, put your face in, in some, bre some, cle some breast, or have you ever motorboated or anything like that, or is that too specific for you? Once or twice, well, I was in college before, so yeah, we, we, did, we did stuff like that every once in a while. We found out so little about you, but I feel like I know so much. <laughs> Talk about the last girl that you hooked up with. How'd it go down? How'd you meet her? We did a, a nice wine bar date. Uh, it was, what, second time taking her out and took her out in the neighborhood and then uh, grabbed dinner after. And yeah, she came back to my place and um, Netflix and chill, but not really. The movie wasn't that good, so. I wanted to pick a shitty movie, so it was that Adam Sandler, that basketball movie. I put that on. I knew she wouldn't watch it. I was like, she's gonna be over this. So I put that on, she, yeah. She, wasn't, you, she wasn't into it, and then. Um, then you went into then position we, one of yeah, 10. Then we, then we took over, then we took over. And did you go down on her? I did. And do you go down, you, so you go down on girls? What's that? So you go down on girls? Uh, yeah, that's, that, you should be doing that if you're. Yeah. I'm glad they let him do it in college. I feel like we're with the Prince of the West Village. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, welcome to my apartment. <laughs> Make some noise for Ryan. Clap it up for him. Ryan's dreamy. Go to the right. There we go. I like him a lot. <laughs> He's got a nut. He's got no ass. No. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen. Oh my God. Oh my. Everyone. Put <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Veronica. Veronica, um, thank you so much for doing our show. Yeah, uh, of course. And microphone close to your mouth. Okay, better. Okay, further from the mouth, actually. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. So I guess let's start out here, Veronica. Yeah. What's the most specific thing, um, or <laughs> what's the most specific way you would describe yourself to a crowd that's unique about you? I think that I'm very unfiltered, super authentic, uh, the best date, and the life of the party. Uh, oh. oh my God. What's something about yourself that you wish a guy on a first date knew that sometimes you don't, you know, you, you don't tell them, that you would tell them later on? Yeah, I think they'll find out later on that I'm a little bit more crazy than I let on at first. <laughs> I like to pick little fights. <laughs> just for fun, keep it spicy. Have you ever been with a guy that you just can't fight with? Yeah, I'm like, this is really boring. On to the next. <laughs> what, what kind of a guy do you like in the bedroom? What does he do? Definitely dominant, but also can give me my chance to shine as well. Um, someone who knows what he wants and is vocal about it. <laughs> Do you like guys who try like a lot of different positions? <laughs> <laughs> um, if it makes sense to switch. <laughs> and they can maneuver me well. Uh, uh, so you like a man that's powerful and can maneuver the positions quickly? Yeah, I like a strong guy. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> with the bedroom and, and everything with a guy, what's something you don't like in there? Silence, a guy who wants me to take all of the initiative and someone 
who finishes really quickly. Don't come to my friend group. Uh, <laughs> physically, what kind of guy you find hot? I have eclectic taste, but if you're hot, you're hot. Um, strong, confident, sexy, good smile. Do you care about the ass? Oh. I love a nice butt. Well, you could always get implants. Uh, <laughs> And then I guess like bedroom wise, you ever, what's like the craziest thing you've ever done in there? Cause we gotta, we're, 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 we have some crazy people the out here. The craziest thing I've ever done. I could go so many directions here. Um, I've had a threesome with two of my best friends, a boy and a girl. And you're like, you're still friends with this guy? Oh yeah. Dude, I've never had cool friends. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how'd that even happen? Well, my two friends were already hooking up previously, and then I guess I started showering with my girlfriend, and then, you know, we were at the guy's house, and a lot of drinks were flowing, and it ended up being, you know, the three of us in the bedroom. Can I join your friend group? <laughs> Come on, if you can handle it. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm always looking for new friends. <laughs> How did having a threesome change her outlook on life? Ooh. Honestly, I will never have a threesome again. I'm a very possessive and jealous girl in the bedroom. Wow, Ooh. unless you're fucking me. <laughs> They're like, you can have them. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm not jealous. <laughs> Guys, make some noise for Veronica. Uh, and Veronica, just some character development. Where'd you go to college? I went to Columbia. Wow. She's a smarty pant. Do men get intimidated by that kind of intelligence with you? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty easygoing, um, but I have, a, you know, a smart mouth, so maybe that could be intimidating. No, I love it. I love, I love a Columbia mouth. <laughs> Harrison, awesome. Uh, I mean, I'm excited. And what body part on a guy can tell you right away if he is hot? I like arms, nice back. Yeah, like a wide, broad what shoulders. About, what about abs? Uh, sure. <laughs> you guys ready for this date to start? Okay. Guys, welcome back to the stage. It's Ryan. Oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> oh, oh. Nice to meet you. Everyone pipe great down. Great to meet you. I can feel nice the energy right you. now. It's good. Wow. <laughs> so Veronica, um, we have for you a guy named Ryan. Hi, Ryan. What's going on? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> so Ryan. Um, Start. I want to hear exactly how Ryan will start the date. What would your friends say about you? I feel like I want to get to know you. What would your friends, how would they describe you? They're a close friend group. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, they would say I'm amazing in bed. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, wow. They would say I am authentic, unfiltered, genuine, a good time, life of the party. I'm loving and lovable. And I have a lot, you know, I, I have some edge to me. Ryan, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I like it all, I like it all. <laughs> Are you close with your friends, Ryan? For sure. Have you ever showered with them? <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think so. <laughs> Would you? If you're with some fun friends, there's a whole fun thing, you'd be down, right? Girlfriends, or are we talk what are we talking about here? We're talking about just like fr good friends that you consider very close. <laughs> uh, girlfriends, potentially, potentially. Uh, guys, I think I'm out. That's surprising for a former college athlete. Oh! <laughs> Veronica. Yeah. Guess the sport that Ryan played, and you could dig and feel, maybe, to help yourself figure it out. <gasps> oh, 
Ryan Coleman. Should he stand up? Stand up, Ryan. Oh. Oh my fu- Oh wait, go lower. <laughs> okay. Wait, does Ryan want to lift his shirt off? Yes. And she could feel underneath it? Feel his like everything. <laughs> to the right. Get, lift that shit. <laughs> Oh my God. He feels strong. So what, oh my God, do you want to what, guess what sport? Maybe swimming. <laughs> That's actually like more believable. So Veronica, what's your second guess? And, and, and regardless, swimming, swimming, like locker room. Soccer. You have a final guess. <laughs> and how about Ryan? If she gets this final guess right, she wins something and you're gonna pick what she wins. Ooh. I'm not gonna do anything. So Veronica, what is your final guess for what sport you think Ryan play? Choose wisely. Lacrosse. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I didn't get it. Wait, should she keep going? This is crazy. <laughs> Any more sports. <laughs> All right, next sport, Veronica. Baseball. <laughs> next sport. Football. <laughs> next sport. She's gonna get. It. She's gonna get this one. Fencing. <laughs> oh my God! All right, Veronica. Next sport. Is it a peculiar sport? No. No. Um, it is. Tennis. <laughs> Oh my God, Harrison, I'm in shock right uh, now. I mean, it's... Hockey? Oh. <laughs> Last one. Orange what, ball. What, what's the sport? Oh, basketball. Uh, oh. oh my uh, God. There it is. Sorry, there it is. I missed that one. Oh uh, my God. Sorry, we'll be, we'll be okay. So, I, think, <laughs> I think that's my favorite one. I don't know how I missed it. What would Veronica have won if she guessed it right? And that was on you, brother. I was gonna say a little, little smooch, a little smooch action. <gasps> what, what else do you do on this show? You don't know even you... know me yet. <laughs> <laughs> what else are we, what else do you celebrate up here? Uh, uh, you tell me, you tell me, Brandon. We do showers up here. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> a handshake? <laughs> a nice firm handshake? I love this guy. <laughs> That's a good handshake. Yeah. Uh, Veronica. It's good. <laughs> Veronica, what's something romantic in the bedroom that you want to find out about this guy right now? What is your go-to, you know, way to impress a woman in the bedroom? <gasps> are, you a, are you a giver or a taker? Oh, wait. A taker up the... <laughs> oh. Yeah, by the way, it's take usually giver or receiver, but I'm a taker. Uh, no, I love takers. So do you want to describe then to Veronica how you give to her? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna set the mood. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. Uh, I'm gonna set the mood. Honestly, I just, I'm looking for some hot and sweaty, yeah, a little hot, little craziness. But okay. um, yeah, a little craziness. Um, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a servant, servant leader, so I'll, I'll obviously make sure you're taken care of first. Are you vocal in bed? A little bit. I'm gonna, you know. What would you I'm, say? I'm say it now. <laughs> I'm gonna get your confidence up a little bit. I'm gonna tell you how good you look. Tell you how good okay. you look. Yeah, if you look good, you're probably looking good. So I'm gonna tell you how good you look and, uh. And Ryan, when you're in bed, describe the thing that turns you on that you want, that, like what it looks like. Like when you're looking up. What do you like, my friend? I love, yeah, so I know where you're going with that. Uh, but I, I play both ends. I like, you know. Yeah, don't, don't, change the, don't change the perception over here. Uh, yeah, I like, like, you know, 
Hot bodies are hot bodies, so not discriminating. No, I like to be complimented, like he said. I think I usually get, you know, some comments on my boobs. I think that's where you were leading it. <laughs> so Ryan, if you care so much, we're gonna leave the floor to you right now for what are you gonna say, what are you gonna do? You just found out a lot, man. I'm, uh, I'm locked in now. I'm locked in now. <laughs> So you like, you're like into boobs? <laughs> Who isn't, right? You could say that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I have them. <gasps> Ryan, to the we left. We get along just fine. <laughs> Ryan, give her a hug at least to say hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, true. We haven't really, yeah, let's, right here, right, where you at, where you at? Oof. Oh, there she is, okay. Yeah, yeah, we like it, we like <laughs> it up here. That's a very financial hug. Kind of push me. <laughs> And Veronica, how do, you, how do you handle guys who are too obsessed with your boobs? I mean, you walk a fine line. I like the compliment, but how obsessed are we talking? One minute kind of obsessed. Oh, I'm not into a minute man. You got a last baby. Think about your grandma. <laughs> Veronica, Veronica, Veronica. Do you guys have any deal breakers with hygiene with someone that you want to share with each other? I mean, yeah, just be clean and neat and take care of yourself. You're an adult, you should be able to do that. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, is there anything like... Yeah, I mean, I feel like um, recently, whenever I've been going out, Bushwick area, um, crazy late night, crazy late night. I ran into, I ran into some groups of girls that aren't smelling the best, and I'm like, damn. <laughs> Bushwick, we're gonna do no, a no, deodorant no, no sponsor. <laughs> no, no disrespect, but uh, you uh, dirty motherfuckers. Like, you, gotta, you gotta smell. You gotta, you gotta smell good. He just the called them gun. out, the Bushwick girl. <laughs> the Bushwick. Oh, ah, oh, shit. Veronica, have you ever been with a guy who smelled? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Oh, that's tough. It's okay. Um, I'm so sorry. Yeah, stank and dick Brand is traumatizing. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what's traumatizing? Stank dick. <laughs> Shower first. Shower first. That's disgusting. You love showers, man. <laughs> you love them. Uh, Ryan, does your dick smell nicer? I think so. Not after a basketball Thanks. game. <laughs> Probably smells like uh, skank thick after that. <laughs> what do you two need to know about each other before you make your decision? What is the best date or gift or like excursion plan thing that you've planned for someone you were dating in the past? Oh my God. You thought yeah. of it on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't use a, a concierge service? No, I've, I've got a... Uh, <laughs> I th so recently, I'm big into the activities. So I've been doing, I've been thinking about, why are people laughing? I've been, I, did, uh, I did a Chelsea Piers golf session with this girl and it was awesome. I got, I got her out on the golf, I got her out hitting the balls together. It was great. I love that. Um, yeah, she, I wanted to see if she could, if she was active and she was uh, athletic and she, pa she was. Is that okay, Veronica? It's not what I would choose, but. <laughs> All right, the blindfolds are about to come off. And right before that, is it going to be a hug or a kiss between you two? Ryan? I think it's on her these days. Coming off in five, four, three, two, 
Take a look, stare at each other. <laughs> microphones up, microphones up. Yes. Look. Yeah, shut the I fuck up. I like your off. shirt. Thank you. You're welcome. Ryan, asshole, microphone. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, I wanna hear everywhere. Look at each other again. I distracted him. She is distracting. Uh, what distracted you, Ryan? I know where you're going. <laughs> I know where you're going. Um, you... Yeah, no, the fit. It's a good, it's a good outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Ryan, this is one of those moments where Harrison and me say, what's your move? What's my move? What's your move right now? Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to get like... It's, it's ride off into the sunset? <laughs> <laughs> you what does your ride look like? It's a good one. It's a, okay. it's a nice ride. And so any final words for each other? It was nice to meet you. Yeah, this is great. This is fun. Let's do this again. Yeah. Let's do this again. Veronica, do you have commentary on his outfit? I said I like his shirt. She, th okay. she threw me a compliment. I huh? said I complimented first. Whoa. Ooh, I like that. I love his shirt, too. I love that Abercrombie's back in style. <laughs> Eyes closed, look straight. Silence, everyone. This is about to get very, very intense. Um, if you have heart problems, please leave the room. Okay. All right. Thumb up if you are interested in the person next to you. Thumb down if you are not in five, four, three, two, one. Veronica, take the floor. Unfortunately, I didn't like his answer to the date question. Um, <laughs> and I think that he maybe could have asked a little bit deeper questions. Okay. Okay, I'm with her on the deeper questions. We, yeah, yeah. We could have went in more depth. I got gotcha. you. Ryan's gotcha. like, yeah, I could totally improve. <laughs> <laughs> but also the date, that's kind of, I've kind of a fire date. I'm not gonna lie. Hitting the golf. I'm the best. Who doesn't want to do that? What's fire about your date? The wine bar? I mean, we're just trying to switch it up from drinks. It's always drinks. Like, let's do something different than drinks. Yes. Like, let's do golf. <laughs> Bro, I'd rather take 80 shots <laughs> and black out yes. than play golf. Yes. <laughs> All right, so Veronica, do you two have any final words for each other? No, I think it was nice to meet you. I'm glad we yeah. can be friends. I don't have too many words, I'll be honest. And Veronica, what if he was a six foot eight tall basketball player next to him? I'm interested. <laughs> Are you interested in him? I actually, my final question, um, you weren't, you, you were specific with why you weren't into him. Um, you know, his date, you know, I probably wouldn't have liked that either. No, um, no, but physically, physically, um, or you could be honest. There's our show's about brutal honesty. Veronica, physically, do you find Ryan attractive? I think he's handsome and conventionally attractive. I don't know if he's necessarily my type. Oh, Ryan. Damn. Whoa, well. Oh, oh my shit. God. Oh my God. On that note, Brandon, I have some good news for Ryan. <gasps> Because there are two girls who said he's exactly her type. Oh, two! We're bringing up two. I'm jealous now. Oh. You get two, Ryan, because you've really wowed us with wait, all this specific. Wait, so two, so Ryan, Ryan is gonna put his blindfolds on. Quickly, he will hear from both girls. He will make a decision blindfolded. Then his blindfolds will come off and he will point to the girl he wants to take for coffee to the wine bar. <laughs> to play golf. Oh, oh, right here, just stand up and me. guys, give it up for Veronica. <laughs> okay. All right. Bachelorette number one, is there a sky out there? Sky is the first one. And then, right. 
And then the second person, is there a page? <laughs> You're gonna get, you'll get one minute with Ryan. Wow. How's it going, Sky? Sky, all right, so wow. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Both of you are gonna step. Yeah, good call. All right, perfect. So Brandon, we'll let each girl have one minute, and then we'll go from there. Yes, so start with Paige. Just take the floor, tell Ryan why you were into him. Well, I love blondes. You seem like a finance guy. I'm into the finance guys. Um, you like boobs. I have boobs. Pretty good boobs. <laughs> she does. Um, and I don't know. <laughs> All my friends immediately said, Paige, that is your type. I said, I guess I have to go on stage. And look, if the friends say it, they've seen the guys that have walked out of her apartment, I'm sure. Uh, yep. Sky, what is your pitch to Ryan? Why are you the girl for him? Hi, Ryan. I'm Sky. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my God. I will be honest, I did miss the first segment trying to find parking. Um, so I did not get to know a lot about you, but from what I was watching in the back, I will say you did crack me up, and I love someone that can make me laugh, which isn't too hard, but still. <laughs> Um, I also, I am a certified lifeguard, so I can make you more comfortable with water. <laughs> uh, yeah. The guy fucking hates swimmers. <laughs> so you're obviously, you're very interested, and then physically, he, uh, Ryan with the, talk, like, he, he does these crazy moves in the bedroom. Did that, did, were you there for that part? I don't think so. So he... <laughs> <laughs> So Ryan, when he likes a girl in the bedroom in under a minute, uh, I, he, he does 10 positions, he'll just like flip someone around. Does that excite you? Yeah, I, th I think there should be like always movement. Like whatever position there is, like there should be shit happening regardless. Um, well, we found your golfer. Uh, <laughs> wow, um, and, then, um, and then Paige, did yes. that, did you like physically, the way Ryan described his bedroom habits, were you interested in that? I mean, it's more about like the what you do than how long you last. So if he's keeping it interesting, that's what matters. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. yeah. Paige has such a professional voice, like just an amazing. Okay, guys, you wanna know why? Because I was at work before this. I had a tank top on underneath my dress, work appropriately. I had to like strip it off before this in case I want to go on stage. Yeah. Yeah, so so, I, so you came to updating tonight with the intention, if I'm interested in this guy, I'm gonna go up there. Well, I watch a lot of the videos. I didn't think I would be, but like, I love a blonde. So I was like. So would you, do you care more about, you could be honest, there's no rules. Okay. Do you care more about looks or personality? Personality. I'm really? humble. Really? I mean, maybe this. <laughs> <laughs> a big decision's about to come. I feel like there is a lot of depth to both of you, so if you each had to pick one reason why you were the right person, what would that be? And, and I'm gonna start with Paige right there because you just lit up. What is the specific about you? God, I don't know. Um, I think I'm like fun, but like in a way that like most people say they're fun, but like I can get like weird and giggly and goofy. I don't know, I just think like you're gonna have fun with me. You're gonna Everyone's laugh really me. fun. <laughs> I'm so fun. Sky, what about you? I agree with Paige's answer. It's a beautiful answer. Um, but I would say for me, I am a big caretaker. Um, my last job before the job that I had now, I was actually a hospice um, live-in caretaker for oh. three months. So now that is how you win. <laughs> yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks for making me choose now, you dicks. But I do think that I, you know, if you're sick not feeling good, et cetera, like, I can fix that. Wow. And Ryan's a giver. Everyone here tonight apparently is a giver. Would you guys be willing to give to Ryan? I would off stage, yeah. <laughs> wow. And, and Paige, your friends are apparently, they're acting like you uh, are a professional. I don't know if I'm a professional. I think it, maybe. Whoa. Do you guys want to just quickly say your favorite position, even though like I think 99% of the population likes missionary. Do you have a favorite, Sky? 
Um, I like sideways. <laughs> and um, I wow. also like on a table. Oh my God. This caretaking sounds very fun. <laughs> it was hard work. Paige, what about you? What's the position? Um, I'm a fan of cowgirl. I think I look best from the front. So. Wow, you guys really are fun. <laughs> like all R <laughs> Ryan's really locked in now. I mean, I he. This is a hard decision. I'm not even kidding. I mean, these guys. I, also, you're doing cowgirl sideways. I lay there. <laughs> I don't know what. Does he Ryan want to see who's the better kisser with these? <gasps> All right, we'll start with Paige. I think it's up to these guys. Paige, are they, are they in? Paige, you down to kiss him? Um. What's going on? This is going on IG. I guess careful. so. I guess I got it. Ryan to the right. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh. To the left is Sky. Do you want to kiss Ryan? No, thank you. You don't want to kiss. <laughs> All right. Strap on your strap ons. I mean, seatbelts. <laughs> seatbelts on, guys. We're about to get to a very intense moment. Harrison, any I'm, final words? I'm shaking. Let's do it. Veronica, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. This is about to get very intense. Okay. Ryan, the most interesting man we've ever had on the show. <laughs> Ryan, you had two girls just come up for you. You had Paige and Sky. Paige is to your right, Sky is to your left. Ryan, what is your decision? In three, two, one. Ryan blindfolds off and points at the girl that you are more attracted to in three, two, one, and points at the girl you are more attracted to. <laughs> They're both attractive. Okay. Which is your choice? You cannot have both. I gotta go, I gotta go Paige over here. I feel like we, we, hit, it off. we hit it off a little bit. Can't. This it's great meeting you. Yeah, though. yeah, no, this one seems great too. Uh, this wow. Is thanks a lot for you guys. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for putting um, me yeah, <laughs> uh, Remember what I said earlier in the show? We give people gifts they don't deserve. <laughs> Brooklyn, we have our first couple. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, Ryan, Paige, you guys can walk off the stage. Sky and Veronica, we have something for you. Uh, <laughs> Okay, Brooklyn, are you guys ready for one final man to come up from this crowd? Okay. I can't hear you. We're gonna bring him out. Sky, Veronica. How you feeling, Veronica? Hi, Sky. Hi, Veronica. I love you guys. You guys are so sweaty, I'm so sorry. Mine too. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Beast! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Give it up for Mark, everyone. Mark. All right, Mark, um, there is no one out here with you. We're about to bring out a girl. Um, so tell the crowd what you want them to know about you. Um, no age profession. There's some beautiful women in the crowd tonight, literally. So what would you say to them? Hey. Uh, so, I think uh, I'm a pretty nice guy. I'm a genuine guy. I think I'm pretty funny. I think I'm uh, like a jack of all trades. I'm kind of like uh, dating your dad if you don't have daddy issues. I'll help you out. I'll do what I can to make your life easier. I'll hang your shelves. I'll cook you dinner. Oh. We just brought out a little bit better version than Ryan. <laughs> um, we brought out the blue collar version. <laughs> <laughs> we brought out Ryan from the Midwest. 
so what's something that you wouldn't want to tell a girl because they're, they're not out here yet? What's something you, you like in the bedroom that you do well, my friend? What I do well? Yeah, and what do you like? What makes you come? I am... <laughs> For me, it's all about her enjoyment. <gasps> I don't like to be the first one to, you know... I like to make sure she's taken care of first. Oh, my God. This is the nicest guy. And, and what's your lifestyle like? My lifestyle? Yeah. I'm kind of like a... I'm a boy's boy. I hang out with my friends a lot. You know, I like going to bars. So you concerts. say he's a boy's boy. boy's boy. I'm a boy's boy. I, I hang out with my friends. I hang out with girls, too. It's not like I only have guy friends. So you, how often do you masturbate? <laughs> Uh, normal amount. Uh, what? <laughs> what does that mean? It depends if I'm in a relationship or not. Uh, Ooh, so what, how many times without, because we're going to learn something tonight. How many times without, how many times with, back to back? If I'm in a relationship, maybe once a week. If I'm not, maybe once a day. <laughs> I like that answer. Whoa. I like that. It sounds like you're in very healthy relationships. <laughs> <laughs> and what's something uh, that the ladies are surprised to hear that you like to do for fun? I don't know if this is surprising. <laughs> I live in Brooklyn, so uh, I like to just go to bars, shoot pool, hang out, go to concerts, yeah. stuff like that. No, Such no. a boy's boy. <laughs> <laughs> do you drink coffee or do you like espresso? I'm a coffee guy. You're a coffee guy? Cold brew. Really? Oh, okay. That actually just made, the mo <laughs> that, made that interesting. <laughs> And I mean, you're, well, Mark, you seem like a really nice, you actually seem like a genuinely nice guy. So then what makes you angry? I do not get angry. Ooh. Look, we're in New York. They want to see a guy fight for them. <laughs> nope. Brandon, Ryan is hooking up backstage right now. Wait. Yo, they're literally hooking up. Like she's on top of him. That's so insane. So, Mark, I will say, that was, a, um, that was quite a nice pitch, so I do want to tell you something. To the left of you, you have Sky. Sky, say hello. Hi. To the right of... Hi. To the right of you, you have Veronica. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, just based off the highs, Harrison, I think we cut right to the... I just want to know from the girl that they like what they heard. Yeah, let's hear it. Sky, are you interested in what you heard? Really, yeah. Uh, you are? I love his laugh. Well, oh. Aww. What? Aww. Veronica, you could be honest. Were you interested in what you heard? Definitely, yes. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mark, can you just laugh again for us? <laughs> <laughs> I can't force a laugh. It has to be genuine. And, Mark, like, physically, what's uh, something about you that you're really proud of? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm tall. <laughs> so, Mark, describe physically the kind of girl you're attracted to. I am into beautiful women who are unconventionally attractive. So I like um, pretty piercing eyes and sometimes maybe a little bit of a crooked smile. I don't know. A crooked? You like people with bad teeth? Uh, no, not bad teeth. Just... You don't have to be perfect, but you'll be perfect to me. Oh my God! Oh! Yo, who is this? Mark! 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 Oh my and, God, Harrison, and, he's perfect. And Mark, uh, a, Christof a Christopher in the crowd just messaged me. Are you a butt, a legs, or boobs guy? Fan of all legs, probably the most. We knew, he's because he, he's so nice, he's like, fan of everything. <laughs> Me, but if you had to pick one, if I have a gun right now, um, or if I have something bad on me, what would you, if you had to pick between breast and um, the, the behind, what would you pick? Ass. All right. Do you, have you ever done anything with an ass? Yeah, come on. I could see him doing his little laugh while he's squeezing it in. He's like, ha ha. <laughs> By the way, I'm loving what's happening here. I love when there's three people together. Um, so do you guys, do either of you have a question? For, uh, so Veronica, do you, is there anything you want to know about this guy? Yeah, I would like to know a lot. Um, oh. So when you say that you take care of women, besides in the bedroom, 
um, and hanging shells, how else would you show someone that you care about them? Well, I'm mostly like an acts of service guy. I will pretty much do anything from the time I get home from work to make sure that you're smiling. Dude, that sounds stressful. Oh my God, bro, you work all day, then you're like, I will do anything. There are guys out there taking notes right now. Oh. At this. Harrison, this may be the most eligible guy in New York. <laughs> Mr. Beast, all right. Um, so, and Ver uh, Veronica, did you like that answer? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Sky, yeah. do you have any, any yeah. questions? <laughs> Sky. Brandon. Do you have any question for this guy? Um, what would you do on a regular weekend? You know, hit a bar, get a little too drunk, and uh, stumble home. Do you drink a lot? <laughs> yeah, I'm Irish. Oh. Wow, no wonder he's a nice guy. <laughs> he's always drunk. He's always happy. Um, what do you like about alcohol? <laughs> Yes. That's what a real you, question. What is it about alcohol? Yeah. Uh, I like that it lowers your inhibitions a little, and also it allows you to come out of your shell and get a little too dancey and, you know. Aww. Well, Mark, we're here to tell you, you have a problem with alcohol. <laughs> it's a, look, we love that you're having fun. Just always be aware when it's too much and never get in a car, please. Um, so, Ryan, I'm not Ryan, uh, Mark. <laughs> Ryan's getting, um, uh, 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 he's, he's getting, he's get. what was it called before that she said? Not receiving your, what was it? Taking, taking. care of. He's taking it in the ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark, do you have a final question for these girls? What's your favorite position in the bedroom? <gasps> oh! Oh! Anything from behind? Even, is that include anal? If you're lucky <gasps> and special. Mark, you better keep doing everything the girl says. All right. S Sky. Um, I, like I said before, um, <laughs> sideways and then on the, on the table, any position. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys like to kiss Mark? Uh, we'll start with you, Veronica. Well, Sky didn't kiss the last guy. I don't want to be the only one. Scott. <laughs> if I have to, if I have to, I guess I will. <gasps> Wait, so does that mean you want to kiss him or no? Yes or no? I'll kiss him if Sky kisses him. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> she loves three subs. <laughs> you know me too well. Veronica, I'll like I'll kiss him off stage with you. Oh, oh my God. Girl after my own heart. So Sky, are you saying you would have a threesome with this guy? Well, I like Veronica a lot. So. Alright. I obviously haven't seen Mark, but I've seen Veronica and I've heard her speak and she's just a really put together, amazing individual. Oh my God. Sky, I have found my match, a girl after my own heart. Uh, yeah. All what right. Me? Yeah. So I guess we have two decisions. <laughs> We're gonna see who Mark wants, but then we'll see when the blindfolds come off if they want each other or they want Mark. All right, Mark, what is your decision? Veronica to the right or Sky to the left in three, two, two one. <laughs> All right, everyone blindfolds off. Mark, point to the girl that you were more interested in. Three, two, one. Sky, do you want Mark or Veronica in three, two, one? Veronica. Oh! Look, Mark is like, Mark is super 
attractive as well, but like I've heard Veronica, like. I, and I am ready to hear Sky. Uh, oh my God, I am buying a bigger shower. Mark, what's gonna happen after the show with the three of you? I don't know, I'm hoping they go back to their original promise. I saw we were all gonna make out. Uh, so Sky, it's up to you. Do you and uh, do you want Mark to join? Off camera, sure. Well, no, no. I Harrison. mean, we have two and a half couples tonight, guys. <laughs> bring them out, bring them out. out. Bring them out, bring them out. Come on out, you two, quit fucking. <laughs> to end the show, if there's anyone out there who wants to shoot your shot from, the, from your seat, we'll bring the mic out. Anyone out there? Right here. I'll bring the mic to you. Wow. From, from down there. Who is your pitch for? Mark, 100%. Oh! <laughs> I'm all female supporting females. I would choose Sky or Veronica, but Mark, 100%. Mark, are you interested? She, she, just be honest. Is it a yes or a no? Three, two, one. Yes. <laughs> Would you want to just give him a kiss or no? I mean, I, I, I could. Do come on up, say hi to him. Wow, come up to, oh my God. Look at, wait. Mom, what's he, he's gonna give her his seat? Bro, the show's over, you don't have to be nice. Wait, you two, three. Oh. show in Brooklyn, it's a literal roller coaster. Ryan, that guy really was a champ. A guy that could be fun, you know, take some jokes, go with it. Girls are gonna like you. It's just how it is. Let's talk about Ryan. He didn't look like a basketball player. He was man a few words. It felt like a post-game press conference, like I'm locked in. The second he was locked in, the rest of the show, it went uphill from there. Veronica and him were like very different, but also a date you walk by. You know, it may or may not work out, and it didn't. Even though there was a lot of things they each had that the other person wanted, uh, you know, Brian loves breasts. That's the only thing we know from him. We know that, we know he plays basketball, and we know that he's looking for a good lifestyle. I was so happy the girl from the crowd came up for him. The minute I saw her come up, I'm like, this is literally what he was looking for. And that's what's cool about our show. You can describe exactly what you want, and sometimes that's in the crowd. It was a pleasant surprise that Sky was back in the crowd. Obviously, we had Sky on earlier, and it didn't work out with Marty, so it was nice to have her back up there and Sky is a cult hero of Update. She's a fan favorite. The end part with her and Veronica, uh, look, get your popcorn ready because you never know what's gonna happen on updating. Mr. Beast is just like one of the nicest guys. That was a very expected ending for the nice guy. The guy has 200 billion followers and he came on Update tonight. That was really exciting. Guys, we're about to head to Europe and I'm telling you, I'm saying this now, I don't know the next time we're gonna be back there. Um, it's really far. We sold out a show in London. I think there's a couple tickets left for the second. Amsterdam, we added on a show. So there's some tickets left for that. We did add on Berlin. And Berlin, I could definitely say, I don't know the next time we're gonna be there. Now is your chance. And Dublin, same. And I cannot wait to meet all of you out there. We're gonna have a great time. We're doing a merch giveaway this week. The comment that makes us laugh about the show, about this episode, the funniest comment this week. It has to be mind-blowingly funny and interesting, your comment. You will get a merch giveaway. So, funniest comment, you will get that and receive it. That's my Instagram handle. Keep reaching out. It's also good for casting. Harrison and me, we do read our DMs and everything. Love hearing from you guys. I'm always down to talk shop about the show. Ask me anything. Here's my Instagram. Hit me up. I'm responding to DMs at three in the morning when I can't sleep thinking about this show. So text us what cities you, you want us to come to. Here's the phone number. Join the community. Updating where we can't wait to get to Europe and to come to a city near you soon. And guys, please keep hitting subscribe.